What's up everyone, Moonrider here, and in this video I'm going to be adding a new monitor stand to my desk setup. I'm finally getting rid of the split monitor layout on my desk, which I'm super excited for because just having the monitors side by side uses up so much real estate. I mean, behind my second monitor, I just have so much wasted space and so much potential for what I could do with this massive desk. Also, it's going to be so much easier to pick up wallpapers for a setup game. Priorities, you know? I'm also going to be swapping out this mouse pad too. It's been with me for quite a while. It looked a lot better in my previous setup when I had a gray desktop, but now with the wood, I think the blue just isn't popping so great. So I'm going to be switching that out too. Without further ado, let's get to swapping some stuff out. And as you saw, I pulled out some Velcro zip ties and I'm just using these to tie off the cables behind the monitor. That way when I unplug everything, each set of cables for each individual monitor are gonna stick together. That way I'm not trying to kind of figure out which cables go with which monitor and whatnot. So if you ever get any of these Velcro sort of zip ties, Make sure you keep them. Also, I apologize for not cleaning back there. I didn't even think about it. I didn't notice all the, the cat fur and dust until I started moving stuff around and I could see it floating in the light. And I'm like, oh God, that's gross. So that was my bad. Also, just another reason to ditch the style of monitor stand. All right, time for some fun unboxing. So the monitor stand I went with, nope, let's skip that. Uh, first, yep, that's my that's my mouse pad, this little teaser. Uh, so the monitor stand that I went with, it's from Vivo. I got it on Amazon, I got it on sale too, which is always great because, you know, setups are expensive and not everyone has money. Um, I got it in white, kinda just wanted to get away from the black. I thought white would look pretty good with my gray walls. Uh, inside the box is the user manual, which was super helpful. Also included in the box was the two poles. And then inside the three individual boxes, this one contained the brackets for the two monitors. This one contained the visa plates, the grommet base, some rubber pads, and some pull connectors. And then the last one contained the clamp, which is super, super heavy duty metal. I was pleased. Up until this point, installation was going great. Uh, and then I hit an unexpected snag that I actually should have noticed out of time. This desk mount was too tall and it wouldn't fit underneath my floating shelf. I had to have my desk pulled like 8 to 10 inches away from the wall in order to get this mount to fit in front of it. So I decided to implement my other plan, which was going to happen in a couple weeks anyway, but that involves taking out all my 3D wall panels, my floating shelf, my RGB, and kind of start fresh with a more simplified setup. And the main reason I was kind of holding off on doing this big project was time and money, because as you can see, there are holes all over the wall from double-sided tape ripping the paint off the drywall. But I hit it for a later date, as you can see in this flashback. There you go, out of sight, out of mind. Until the next time, these clothes either fall off or I take them off. And then I'm reminded that I was lazy. Looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks for nothing, you lazy fu- Anyway, yeah, my walls were wrecked. And it was going to take quite a bit of time to prep these for spackle. And then I had to sand and prep that for paint. It was going to suck. It did suck. I was so worried about inflicting damage on the wall, taking these off, because they also had double-sided tape on the back, the same double-sided tape. But thankfully, they didn't do any damage. Now at this point, it's one in the morning, it's also like Wednesday night, so I patched up the walls, and I took a break and I just played Starfield while I waited for the plaster to dry. And the next morning, I made a run to Home Depot, picked up a gallon of paint, and threw on two coats. After about two hours to let the paint dry, I got back to work. Yeah, that's me gesturing at the pole, not the follower. It worked.
This desk mount looks so good. I love the cable management that it has on the back. I mean, it could be a bit better, but you know what? I'll take it. It still is sufficient with each monitor having its own two RGB lights. Uh, there's just a lot of cables running back there. So, I mean, what can I really say? Next up is my new mouse pad. Much like 99% of everything else in my setup, this was also purchased from Amazon, and I will put a link down in the description in case you're interested in it. I like putting plants behind my PC because it hides the cables. For the most part. Right, more unboxing. Uh, I actually won this item uh, from my work, so I didn't pay for it. Who can say no to that? So this is just a two-speaker system with a subwoofer from Insignia. According to Best Buy ratings, it sounds pretty good. And so far, yeah, I would agree. Also, the RGB on these looks so clean. I love it. So a typical inside instruction manual, cute little subwoofer inside the GameCube, and the speakers. There they are. They look good. Please do not mind the cables. I have not managed them yet. They get better, I swear. These also come with this little puck controller, which I didn't know about until I opened the box. It's got the power button volume, it adjusts the input, and it's also the hub that you plug uh, any headphones or the auxiliary input into. I'm pretty sure these are only about $49.99 at Best Buy. I mean, damn. It's now the morning of day three that was originally planned to be a one hour project. But I had to let the walls cure for about a day before I hung up the new shelves that I bought from Amazon, of course, where else? And also so I can mount my RGB again. And I decided I'm going to mount two floating shelves right on this wall. And here they are, my new floating shelves from Baobab Workshop. I love these. The quality is super good. They're made in Europe. The wood smells, oh my God, so good. They give you like a handwritten letter thanking you for your purchase. I mean, how awesome is that? Uh, these are actually like, the second set that I bought. I have another set of these on the other side of my game room. So I figured why the heck not? I already, I already know that the hardware that comes with them is super legit. I mean, look at, look at that. Look at the hardware it comes with. These things hold up. I'm letting Sayuri smell. Yeah, she's getting really in there. These things smell so freaking good. It's like that fresh cut wood smell. As awesome as these are, they don't come with a template for mounting. So here's what I do. I kind of just take a level and I stick a piece of painter's tape on the side and I just kind of figure out where the edge of the shelf is. And then I just kind of line it up and I mark where the holes are going to be. And then of course I'm checking the wall for studs, hoping that I can use at least one and save like a giant gaping hole, and yep, I found one. Then I'm going to use this laser level. And I'm going to use that painter's tape to mark the holes. And it's verifying. And then I just got to drill some holes for those toggle bolts.
if you use this method, those holes are going to be nice and level. Now these brackets do allow some play on the bolts, uh, so that's why I'm using the level again, just to make sure that those are at a matching height. And also what's cool about these brackets is that the support rod is actually adjustable. If you loosen it, you can move it a bit to the left or the right, just in case you mounted it on the wall like slightly off, which is really helpful. Because I did. This display of jankiness is me trying to make sure that there's 12 inches between my two shelves. So I prayed to the setup gods that this ruler wouldn't fall off the bracket and think to the setup gods it didn't. Uh, and in the meantime, I cranked up that laser that was on top of a tripod until I got to the desired height of 12 inches. Isn't she precious? She likes licking glue. Is that normal? I think it's normal. She doesn't like to be judged. Before moving on to that second shelf, I just want to make sure that this is actually going to slide in and work because why put up brackets for a second shelf when the first ones aren't even done correctly? Once again, level to the rescue. I use this one for support, also to make sure the Gobi Glide is level once I get it to the wall. But for here, I'm using it for support. This way I can mount four or five glide segments at once. Next up, the hexagons. My idea for the hexagons was basically just to kind of give a little backdrop to the items displayed on the shelves, so I thought this little design looked kind of cool. And I didn't put them back on that adjacent wall because my plan is to eventually put a pegboard over there that's gonna hold like keycaps and other things like that. So the hexagons had to go over here. And I actually like how it turned out too. Oh yeah, and this was a totally last minute purchase, uh, so thanks same day shipping from Amazon, you came in clutch. I really hate the two power strip cables that I have because they're really thick, they're really dark, so they stand out like nobody's business. These were about eight bucks and they're just gonna kind of help make those less obnoxious looking. And that was the last of the upgrades. Time for the finished look.
All right, that's it for the new setup build. I'm very happy with this one. I think out of all the setup variations that I've had over the last two years, I think this one here is my favorite. I think it's gonna make a great workspace for creating content and also just for having fun and gaming. But let me know what you think by dropping a comment down below. Also give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and gaming setup content like this. Next video coming out, it's Halloween season and I need to decorate accordingly, so don't miss that. Later.